Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday, but first let's have our shout out to Diane, Rebel and Romance, Sheila, Sue, Vicki, Nancy, Dolores, Judy, Gloria, ex Cajun Grandma, Joan, Bella, and Paula. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, this video is about making cloth envelopes. And we're going to start with a square, kind of, sort of. And we'll square it up after we get it all mounted onto our paper. I have chosen music paper. I do have a piece of waxed paper. It has paper on this side, wax on this side. And that will keep it from getting on everything and will allow me to peel it off when it's completely dry. This is a cotton. Now, I have made it with other material as well, but I'm using cotton today. So what I'd like to do is I would like to get my school glue, white school glue. Happens to be Elmer's. I've added water to it, more glue than water. I don't measure. I just pour it in. Like I said, more than half glue to maybe, I don't know, a fourth of the water. Just, just a little bit of water. Now, I'm just looking here to see about how where I have to spread it. Maybe this first row of music and maybe this last row of music. That's how much glue I need to place on here. So I'm just going to be generous. Now I know a lot of, oh, not a lot, but some of you might say, can I use Mod Podge? Well, you can use Mod Podge if that's what you choose, but you will not get the same results that I get by using the school glue. Mod Podge is sticky and Mod Podge is shiny. This is neither, not sticky or shiny. So you most certainly can use it, but you won't get the same results. So if you want the same results, you'll need to use school glue, white school glue. All right, so I've got this down. And now I'm going to take my fabric and I'm just going to simply lay it on top, just like this. And I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to make sure that the fabric is stuck to the page. Now, because this fabric has quite a bit of white spots in it, you know, it, it's white, you will be able to see the music through the white. So if you're wanting the music to show through, pick yourself out a fabric, probably a cotton, I would suppose, that then the the words or the music or whatever you choose will come through or have a better chance of coming through, I should say. And I'm just applying a little bit more glue just to make sure that it's covered. I've got these strings and I probably should have removed all the strings, but I did not. And so now I'm having to dig them out from underneath. <laughs> Oops. So remove your strings. Oh, now they're stuck to my finger. Okay. Remove your strings. That might be a good tip to say. And then you won't have to be digging them out from underneath the material. All right. So we've got this. And you can see I'm making sure that the edges are getting glue and getting pressed down onto the paper. All right, now I'm going to lift this up so you can see a little closer. So you can see that music coming right through there, the image. I'm going to set this aside, and I am going to grab one that I already have attached to the page. Now, you can see it's kind of wonky. It's uh, rippled. The page is rippled. Okay, so I ironed my material before I did this. I should have said that before. I had ironed that other piece as well. But after you apply it and it dries, it'll get a little bit wavy. I have my iron here on high and I am just going to iron it. And 
I don't know exactly what happens, but it irons it right out. So I don't know if it heats the glue up and then the glue, um, they, it can move the glue. I don't know how it works, but anyway, it works and now it's flat again. There's no ripple, ripples in the paper or any of that. So it's completely flat. Now I'm going to shut my iron off and then I'm going to come back and we're going to continue. All right, so here we are. Now I am going to just take my scissors and I'm just going to trim this extra off around my piece of fabric just like this, just so it's more manageable. All right. Now, this is where, uh, if I'm going to run into trouble, this is where it's going to be. Huh. Making this square, that's where I'm going to run into trouble. So I'm going to turn it on this side right here, and I am going to bring in my ruler, and I am going to do my very best to see if I can make this square. So this is, now you can make this any size you want. You don't have to make it this size. Let's make it seven inches. So this one isn't as straight as that one. Alrighty, let's trim this right here like this. Like I said, I am no good at measuring. I admit that freely. I am no good at measuring, but we're going to give it a go, and we're going to try. I have made two others, and they turned out beautiful. They're of different colors, and I will show you that at the end. And so, it can be done, and I can do it. <laughs> it's just sometimes things go awry, and um, it doesn't turn out square. And if it doesn't turn out square, then your then your envelope will be wonky. That's the only way I know how to say it. It's just going to be wonky and it won't be, you won't want to use it. It'll, it'll be so wonky that it, it won't be any good. So I'm going to trim this. Not a very good job. I did not trim that very well. Let's try this. Looking for my line. Okay. There. Now, let's see. How did we do? It's a little short of seven on that side. It is not short of seven on this side. I wonder if that's going to be enough to throw me off. That's just a little shy of seven. So I think, to be fair, I'm going to make it just a little shy of seven here, too. Otherwise, I'm truly afraid that it's going to be messed up. How much shy of seven is it? Oh, you guys. I'm just rotten at this. Seriously. All right, well, now after looking at it, I think we're going to go with it. We're not going to trim it anymore. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed this is going to work out. I'm going to go ahead and just ink this up just, just to help this a little bit. And we're going to ink it more once we get it together. Okay. Now, move everything over here. All right, now we're going to decide what's the top of our flap. Alrighty, I think I really like this because it's really dark. And I like to line up, I'm using uh, six, the six line. I like to line up both tips and then I'm going to fold them in and I'm going to see just about where we're going to be. If we fold these in like this, where does that, are we even close? No, we're not. This one, this one's way over here and that one's right there. Mm -hmm. 
If we fold it in, okay. All right, you guys. We're going to fold it in. I'm going to choose this line right here, and I'm going to fold it just like this. Okay, now I'm going to choose the same line on the other side, trying to keep this square as possible. Okay, now, goodness gracious, the dogs are outside. I don't know what they're barking at. It's kind of raining out there a little bit. All right, now we're going to fold this up. Oh, it's going to be a nice envelope, I can tell now. Everything's going to be all right, you guys. <laughs> you don't have any idea how much I worry. And it's going to turn out all wonky on us. All right, so now I'm just looking at this line here, and I want to fold it. So it's on this line here. Okay. We're just going to crease it. All right. Hey, isn't that pretty? Oh, my goodness. Now we're going to fold this one down. Choosing another line here to keep it on this line. I'm going to fold this line down. I'm choosing this line right here, this line right here. I'm folding this point right here, and I'm going to try to line it up to those lines right there. So that way, the envelope will stay in square, hopefully. Hey guys, if I can do it, you can do it. That's what I say. If I can do it, you can do it. Haha, <laughs> look at there. I think that's beautiful. Oh my stars, that is beautiful. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to open this up. And where we have folded, we're going to take this out. We're going to take this notch out, and we're going to take this notch out. So we're removing this. And I'm going to do all four corners, and I'm going to switch to my smaller scissors. And I'm going to tell you about hashtag tag me Tuesday. I invite you all to join my Facebook group. The link is down below and all you need to do, uh, you do not have to know the secret code. It happens to be hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness. But you do have to accept the rules. The rules are very basic. Be nice to everybody and there's no selling. Now I understand from a comment that one of y'all made that it's kind of hard to find, I think. I don't think it just pops right up for you to say. So I think that's how people are missing it and not accepting the rules. Because the rules are basic. I mean, I don't understand why anybody wouldn't say okay to the rules. No selling, be nice to everybody. So I think you kind of have to look for the rules. And you'll need to accept them because I can't say okay for you to join if you if you don't agree to that basic the, those basic rules and what um, we do in that group is I invite you all to I'm just looking to see where my top is here's my top I invite you all to join and post that week's or any other hashtag Tag Me Tuesday craft that we've done, and you show us your version because you know, you guys, it might be the same project, but they all turn out different because we're all different and our personalities come through in our crafting. I find that to be absolutely super cool and super interesting when I see you guys' things that you posted and it's the same same craft but it looks totally different I find it to be extremely exciting and we get our ideas from each other there's nothing new under the sun but we all get our inspiration and our ideas from each other 
And so I invite you to join the group and go ahead and post your post your pictures of your craft that you have made. Now, this is quite beautiful. I absolutely love it. So let's go ahead and let's glue this together. I want to see, is this exactly the right way that I want? Nope. Remember I said I wanted that darkness to show? I wanted that heavy music? Yeah, it goes this way. Yeah, it goes this way. Okay, so let's, this is my Tombow glue, and I'm just going to glue the flap that's down. I find it easiest to just apply glue on that one and none of the others because that way I don't get glue where I'm not supposed to. So I just fold it up. I go ahead and leave my little point there. Some you might want to maybe cut it off or fold it in. It doesn't bother me that it's there. So I'm just going to add some paper clips to hold this closed while it grabs hold and it glues. Now I'm going to fold it this way. I did that before but I think I had the wrong the wrong end. I want that end. I want that to be the top. Oh my goodness. Now let's decorate. Let's decorate. So I have some, ooh, that's pretty on there. Let's see, what else do I have? Now, I was going to do a different, um, a different pattern. This is my second take on this <laughs> because it kind of went wonky. So I am going to grab some colors that go a little better with this, and I'll be right back. Alright you guys, I have a few things that I've gathered, so let's go ahead and take our paper clips off, and oh yeah, it's looking wonderful, just wonderful. Let's go ahead and let's maybe do a little, maybe we should start with the back. Alrighty. Let's bring in our hot glue so that I'll be able to make a ruffle right here. So I just placed a little bit of glue down and I'm just going to gather the material just like that. Alright, that's really cute. I don't know that I want to go on the other side or not. Maybe. Let's go ahead and add this. This is one that I've sewn with the machine. And I'm actually going to trim this end off. And just glue that right down on this other side. So we have two different sides. This. Okay, and let's give this a trim. Trim this off here. Okay, and I'm going to glue this together like that. All right, that's pretty cute, right? I like that. I could actually put a well, I've got some buttons here. We could do a button. Okay, let's work on the front. So, I'm not sure at all. It's just the work in progress here. Like I said, this is not the material that I thought I was going to have. <laughs> because my other one turned out wonky. I'll actually show it to you. I'll show you my wonky, my wonky one. I tried to fix it, and... Um, uh, there was no fixing it. There was no fixing it. Okay, let's go ahead and let's grab our stamp. And I want to bring in my little word stamp right here. And I think it would be real sweet to 
to go ahead and stamp this little label with my word stamp. Uh huh, just like that. And let's go ahead and glue this down. Now, where do I want this to be? Maybe at the corner? Okay, let's put the ruffle. I'd like to have another ruffle going on here. So. This one, I don't want it to be so wide. Actually, I want it to be like this. Mm -hmm. I turned it around because this side of the, get that off of there, this side of the material, get this off and then I'll show you. Okay. This side has a little bit more frame. And I like that a lot. So I wanted that side to be on there. I'm going to move that over just a little bit. Like that. And I'm going to turn it around. Add a little glue. And I'm going to turn it around like this. There we go. I made the corner and a little bit more glue and just a couple more pleats. Okay, how about that? That's pretty. Now I have some buttons here and I was thinking, what if I put buttons here? I'm not sure. A little gray one. This kind of sweet. I'm not sure yet. We're just kind of playing around here. Do I like that butterfly with it? It's really not the right color. This one's a little bit better, but kind of a smoky shape for that. Or do I want this? And this is totally different, right? It's like print and print. I'm not sure I want print and print, but if we do this, I don't know, guys. I have no clue what we're doing. Let me look for a butterfly that's the right color. Okay, you guys, I found a few things. I have a stamp right here, and this is a stamp from digitalcollage.com. That's where I got this stamp from. And I'm going to place it right here in the corner. Just like that. I think that's pretty on there. And I am going to go ahead and use this label that we stamped on. And I have my wax seal and I'm going to use that as well so I'm going to put it like right here but I have some ribbon and I'm going to just kind of make a little bit of some loops and we're going to put it underneath the wax seal oh goodness it's it's gotten tangled isn't this a beautiful color? It's so pretty. So I'm just going to make um, a couple of little tufts, I think. Yeah. A couple of little tufts. And I'll go ahead and use this string right here. This heavy string. Because I took the uh, I took the buttons and I went ahead and I put the thread through the buttons because I do like my buttons to have thread in them. So I went ahead and added that. Okay, this is going to work. I've got that done. So let's go and see. Oh my goodness, yeah. That's going to work nicely. Something like this. 
direction. So this one's just a little crooked for me. I don't care for it being that way. So if I can fix this. Alrighty. Now I think I want it down this way. Like that. Yeah. Now I'm going to put that down first. Now I have learned with this, if your glue gun has been plugged in for quite a long time, you can melt your seal. I've done it. <laughs> I've actually done it. I've melted my seal. So I'm going to put my glue down like this and I'm going to wait for just a few minutes while I attach my buttons. I think I want my button right here and maybe one right here and then one right here. Yeah, I like that and I think it's time we can put our seal on here now and it won't melt. Oh very nice. I'm really liking this. Now I really need to go ahead and make my line in my on my and my circle you know, like came from the post office on my stamp here, my faux stamp. So let's go ahead and let's get our ink and let's put our circle on. All right, there's our circle and here's our lines. Oh my goodness, so cute. All right. Move that out of the way and put this back. And then let's see where are we at. We need to do something about this right here. And I have this sweet little flower that I think would look lovely right there. Oh my goodness, you guys, I think this cloth envelope turned out so pretty. I told you that I would show you my wonky one. Okay, here's my wonky one. It doesn't look so bad on this side. It's kind of cool, right? But look, it's all wonky here. It's, uh, it it's doesn't match up. It's just, <laughs> it's not acceptable. So it happens to all of us, every single one of us. Here's one right here. Isn't that sweet? I put some lace and I finish off the back like this, with the cloth bow and a little bling. And then I have this very bright one right here. Look at this one. Isn't this fun? And on the back, I put one of those little flowers that we made. And I put one of our little tassels that we've made. Oh my goodness, you guys. I absolutely love these cloth envelopes. You guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.